Hi, good evening, Corey Thorne, psychic medium, spiritual healer, and life coach, coming in to do the channel message for April 2019 for my Capricorns. I'm going to get it right this time. <laughs> uh, this is a channeled message. This, I'm not an astrologer. I do pick up little bits of astrology stuff, which I'm not a pro on, but I also am not a uh, a doctor or a psychologist, so please do not take my advice over any advice that you have been given by anyone in the professional field. This is to be taken as a form of entertainment. If it resonates with you and it helps you in any way, I'm thankful that it's helping you. Um, please remember also that this is a collective message. This is a general message. This is not for a personal reading, and if it does not resonate with you, then it's not for you this month. It's what I'm channeling through in the energy. It may be bits and pieces that suit you and align to you. So for April, I don't even know where to start with my Capricorns. Trust yourself here. Trust yourself. Do not go back to old habits. Do not let old habits and old fears stand in your way of happiness, Capricorns. I feel as if you are chasing, uh, chasing your demons a little bit here. Um, that's the only way I can put it. Chasing your fears. You're chasing. Uh, you're kind of trying to keep yourself ahead of them, but they've been they've been kind of coming in a little bit here and. You're a little bit concerned and scared that you might be a little bit over your head in some situations. Um, keep going. Keep going. Don't back down. Don't leave it. Don't walk away from it. I think this is where you are. The situations, the, the relationships type of thing that you're in are all good for you. I keep seeing like a little shrew type of energy. Uh, spirit guide of a shrew. Um, you're very wise with your money. Everyone else may have been struggling. You're not. It's a good thing, and there's more to come. Uh, if you've been concerned and worried about work, it's about to explode for you. It's about to change. You're about to be able to uh, make a change, make a move. I feel like you may even be moving. I wouldn't be surprised if you're moving somewhere. Uh, some Capricorns are getting ready to sell their homes to, to, to take a leap of faith, to move in with somebody. Totally awesome and totally wonderful is what it feels like for me. Love, love, love. I just feel love around my Capricorns. It's like, yay. Um, Self-love, self-respect, uh, putting your, who cares what anyone else thinks, do what you need to do right now. This feels like a real love time. Um, there is some family issues around you though. I feel as if like you're being pulled into a direction of, um, needing to be together with family or join together with family or blending together families. And it's like, it's a bit of a challenge. There's some challenging things here. There's some things that you're questioning and some things you're worried about. It's like, just be honest and truthful of what your needs are and what you can handle and what you can't handle. And just like, um, do some prayers here or some meditation. Go deep. It's like, what is my fear? What am I afraid of? Uh, there's nothing to lose. Put it this way. There's nothing for you to lose. I feel like you're not losing anything by making a choice to, to choose a healthy whole family type of environment. Coming together. There is some coming together. Um, moving south. I feel there's some people moving south. There's a south moving direction. If you live in the northern directions, I feel like you're moving south. You're done with, you're done with the kind of struggles of the north and you're saying, you know what? Let, let's go this way. And it's, it's going to be so good. So like everything of it is just like, it works well. Uh, if you're selling a home and the economy hasn't been great, it's going to sell because, because the divine timing, the everything is aligning for this to be perfect for you. So if you've been looking at a move, I'm seeing a moving truck. I'm seeing like a U-Haul or a big moving truck. I'm seeing something like that coming forth. It's like, it's rolling up to your home. Um, and you're loading it up and you're packing. Don't take the old shit though. Leave the old stuff behind. Um, also, please, if you have some friends that you have neglected, if you're someone who's been kind of so busy in your life or so busy hiding away and mushrooming yourself away, or if you've had some like falling out with your friends, reach out to them. I feel as if some friendships are not worth giving up and it's a good time to come forth into that friendship again. Um, nothing really went wrong. It just feels like it just happened. It's okay to come back into that again now. It's okay to let in friendships that have been kind of put to the wayside. Um, 
also for my single Capricorns, for my single Capricorns, I'm going back to the love again. If you're single, I feel as if, if you've been on a dating site or you've been thinking about it, uh, there's somebody coming in for you, somebody that uh, could be a little bit of fun. I feel like it's a, like you can be a little bit serious in your relationships and uh, you can be a little bit of, of an over thinker don't overthink it allow it to just come in um have fun with it play with it we don't know exactly where it's going i can tell you that we don't know where your where this relationship is going but it's fun have fun it's summer months um go have you know we're in spring right now but the summer months will be coming i feel like it will play itself out until the summer and then you'll make a decision uh i am picking up a little bit of an addiction thing around somebody uh, and I don't know if this feels kind of more specific, but somebody who has been struggling through either alcohol, 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 al alcohol. I don't think, I don't know if it's drugs. I feel like someone's been struggling with alcohol. Um, there's a hand reaching out to you. I feel like it's a God consciousness. It's a it's a, it's the energy of Mother Mary that it's like the Holy, uh, something of a Metatron, like something of a higher energy here to reaching out to you, saying we're here. It is, it's, it's safe for you now to make that, make that choice to do something different. Make the choice to do something different. I feel like there's help here for you. If whoever you are, if you've been just like, I need to be done, I need to stop this, I need to make these changes, there's something, there is something that's coming for you. Um, I want to say I'm looking down. Um, okay. Um, I don't know why this is popping in in a general reading. You have lost whoever this is or whoever is even cross watching for somebody. You have lost enough. You've lost enough time. You've lost enough of your energy. You've lost enough of your, your precious people in your life. You've lost enough of everything. And you've been saying, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. You are ready. There's a, a hand reaching out to you. It's like, it, it's, it's right here. Reach out, do it. Um, if you have to reach out to those friends, reach out to, you're done. There's enough, there's enough strength in you and enough light left in you to make this the final, the, like that time when you say, I'm, this is it. I'm done with alcohol. I'm done with drinking. I'm done with, um, done with all of that. And just know that there's beautiful, beautiful things that are coming. And life experiences. There's beautiful relationships here. I feel like just life is about to open some doors and there's some beautiful new doors opening. Butterflies, transformation. And here is follow that passion. Don't give up on a love. Don't give up on your life. Kind of fight for everything now. So you're moving. There's a move in a new direction. A healthy life, a healthy change. Capricorns, April is good for you. It is, this is a new moon, letting go, letting go, letting go. Um, freedom. I feel a sense of freedom. Capricorns, this is your month of freedom. This is a year of freedom for you. Allow yourself to be free of any self-judgment, self-sabotage, all of those things. You're moving into some beautiful healing energy and some beautiful love. Enjoy April. Much love to you all. Bye-bye.